Hello, Valerie Shodine here, and I am here to show you how to make stencil letters not look like a stencil. Can you believe these were done with a stencil? This was too. I'm using these Celtic Stencil Alphabet I designed for Stencil Girl products, and it comes 9 by 12, and then I cut it here and here, drew a line and cut it with scissors, and I'm going to use for this demonstration this one Celtic alphabet found often in the Book of Kells or other similar illuminated manuscripts. Let's get started. I'm going to start with this alphabet and use like a .2 or a .3 pen. I have three here just to show you. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. For me, this is a dry media journal, so I'm not concerned about bleeding. Um, when it gets wet. So that's not a concern on this. It might be on your project. Uh, always good to test. Okay, like I said, I'm starting with this stencil and then I'm going to show you, this is a moleskin journal. The moleskin journals and the lecterm and other journals like this, um, you can get the dots or the squares. And I've designed all of these stencils to fit right inside and to line up with these dots and or grid so that you can make straight lines and line them up really easily. Excited about that. Okay, now I'm gonna do Love. I'll just pick one, this um, Stadler pigment liner. I've been liking it. That's what I used on here. So I'm just gonna line it up. Oh. Let me zoom in. There we go. And I'm just holding the stencil there and then I'm just gonna scribble inside. Super easy. And this O, uh, it, it's a style, it's kind of surprised to see, but I like it. It definitely, in my mind, uh, is has a better visual impact if you make it not look like a stencil. That's just my personal opinion. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Scribble school. Now I'm not gonna fill that E in because I looked at some of the manuscripts and some didn't have that filled in. They had a dot in the center. I could put this dot in here or here. I put a gold dot with a jelly roll pen on top, which I like. So just to add some interest, I went a little bit outside the lines. Of course, I don't like to do that, but I'll show you the easiest way to make a stencil not look like a stencil is to connect the lines that would be there if it actually wasn't a stencil. So on these letters and many letters, just to do the line connection within the letter itself. And I start with what's easy and then I move on and I can add more lines and more shape like this. And then these here, I just Connect with a little arch and a scribble. You can also do this with colored pencils. So, so there's that and there's love and I love, love, love this. And now another way to letter using stencils and making them not look like stencils. You can see I just drew around the stencil with a mechanical pencil. Either a mechanical pencil or a really sharp regular pencil work well needs to be sharp though. Um, if I just did this gel pen, this is a Jelly Roll metallic gold, it would bleed underneath. So then I take it off, take the stencil off, and I am just coloring in this letter. Like this. And then I, I connect it like this here. and fill in. Okay. 
and then you want to make sure this is really important make sure that it's totally dry so I'll go and I'll do other letters while I'm waiting for that to dry like this but definitely the gel pens take a little longer to dry You can also modify the stencil shape at this point, too. Okay, I'll do the rest of these offline, and this, too, you just connect and fill in, let those dry, and I'll be back to outline. These are dry, and there's a couple of ways to outline. One is to put the stencil back on an outline. So I'm stopping short. I'll show you. Let's see. Stopping short there. And then I turn it to where it's easy to connect, and that actually worked out pretty well. So the other way is to just basically go around like this and outline it. Kind of depends how steady your hand is, and you can do what works best for you. So I'm going to finish this. I'm going to leave this just like it is, because there I have the black, I have the gold, and then I have the black and gold. So there you go there. And here's the finished page with the spirit and the fruit of the spirit on the left, all letters done with stencils. And those doves are stencils from the Christian symbols, one and two stencil and the Celtic spiral as well. Here are some more examples of cool things you can do with these Celtic alphabet stencils. So I hope this inspires you to letter and take a look at your own alphabet stencils. And if you really like the Celtic, like I love the style, then, um, those are available at Stencil Girl Products. Blessings to you as you create.